Uh, we look into a smart trade from the community at gt247.com. And Mark, I hope you're going to be innovative given what <laughs> Rowan Williams did earlier this week where he went long angler gold shanty and he went short gold fields. There's our pair trade. Can you match that in terms of innovation? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> no, we, we, we thought that the main, the main kind of topic, this, look, that, that trade is very nice. We're going to look into it and see, do, do the numbers on that to see how it works. But the thing that uh, we, we've been discussing is kind of the whole impact of QE and the mm. kind of Mr. Market and, and so on and so forth. It's been the principal topic that's kind of dominated the, the, the entire market for the whole week. Is the downside overdone? Um, in what sense? Well, in terms of the quantitative easing, the pullback, and now suddenly the market saying, listen, it's time to, to pull back extensively across the board. This free money is no longer here. The party's over. Uh, do you think we're going to see further volatility? Yeah, I mean, look, I've, I think we've, we've been seeing it over the last couple of weeks. I mm. think it's probably going to be maintained. A lot of uh, positive news was, uh, was drawn out of the, the comments made by, by, by Bernanke confirming that the drug is going to continue to be syringed into the patient as such for, for the foreseeable future. <laughs> <laughs> you guys and your quantitative he using to play money his, He wants to play his equity portfolio. He wants a little boost to the market, get out, run, and then he'll come back and say he's going to pull it out. Yeah, well, look, I mean, if the thing has been boosted, it's going to remain boosted for, for the foreseeable future. Mm. There's a little bit of twitchiness on, on, in, in EM kind of in general with uh, bonds pretty close to the kind of high levels and currencies pretty close to, mm. you know, within a couple of percent of low levels. So everybody's kind of geared up for the, for the next Fed announcement as it comes. This is the inverse of the 10-year uh, uh, US Treasury. So what you obviously seeing there um, is when it sells off, uh, the yield uh, will spike and vice versa. So it's interesting to see how nervous everybody got towards the end of Ben Bernanke's because of course the bonds um, were trading at all time highs and then people suddenly said, whoa, we got too much fixed income sold off heavily but in recent weeks that little bit there it's bounced back or well, not in recent weeks in recent days That's it's bounced right. back a little bit right. just a, as a general view do you think well, obviously we're in for, for more volatility is there an opportunity because i was having discussion at dinner last night and uh, a lot of people around the table uh, were discussing whether there was going to be a, a, a bigger pullback in the market uh, an entry point a further entry point into equities Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> look, I mean, they're, they're, you're always they're, hoping for a better engine. Yeah, point. no, well, that's, that's the thing. I mean, you've, you've got to be greedy. We, like we've been saying continuously for the last year or so, this, there's secular bull market in equities. Long, mad, continuous probably is going to continue more or less, no matter what kind, of, what, what kind of happens. There are a number of kind of problematic issues that are beginning to, to, to come to a, to a head. And that is what is going to happen to the dollar in general and how that's going to affect, mm. the, affect the periphery. The first point of reference, and that's why I think the bond was, was so important as to what's going on there. There was that massive sell-off in bonds that we saw in the curve that went down. 25% of that money, that 77 billion or whatever that was realized, went into, into equity funds. The bulk of it was parked in uh, money market and saving funds. So there still remains a massive amount of, uh, of capital sitting on, on the periphery. Um, either, either sitting on a periphery waiting to invest or just fearing the entire situation. So there's a lot of things still to play through.